what got you to the point with your wife that made you want to propose to her? What was the moment where you're like, I'm going to marry this woman? I, I think it was from the experiences because mm. I was seeing different women, um, but didn't feel that I wanted to settle down with them. Mm. You know, I was, you know, was having fun, but it just didn't feel like this is who I want to be my wife. Mm. And I think after I had the, the relationship, which ended up being really bad, mm. I became very selective with who I would want to be my wife. Mm. And then when I came across my wife, who was just a woman at the time, mm. we were getting to know each other. And I thought to myself, <laughs> I really like her. Mm. And what I liked about mm. her as well was she wasn't trying to impress me. She was just being herself. Mm. And I remember we went out on a date and we went to a bar, there was music playing, we was drinking and we was getting tipsy. And I thought, okay, this is my moment for the kiss. Mm. And I went to go in for a kiss and she put her hand on my mouth. Mm. I thought that we had a vibe. Mm. And she was like, yeah, I really like you, but mm. no, we're not going to be intimate yet. I was like, wow. Yeah. I always had, it, it was like, I'd never been rejected before. Sure. You know? Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh my God, wow. Like how, like, how'd you just do that? Yes. And then, um, yeah, it made me want to work harder for the relationship mm. uh, or whatever it was. I was like, right, I have to really work for this woman. Mm. And then we started, you know, going out a bit more. And even when I wanted sex, it didn't, didn't happen soon. Yeah. We were even sharing the same bed <laughs> naked. Yeah. And nothing happened. Yeah. It really made me work. For, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Mm. I had to say, I really wanted her, but I was like, do you know what? If we're going to have a future together, it's fine. Like, at least I know I've really had to work for this. And mm. she she wouldn't just give it up to anyone. Yeah. And that just made me value her a bit more, you know? Yeah. Um, I was like, yeah, this is the one. You know, after we was together for a few years, I, I knew, excuse me, I knew from the beginning. Yes. Um, but then, yeah, it got to a point where I was like, I need to propose. Yeah, yeah. It's... <sighs> I don't reveal too much, but there are so many parallels between what happened with you and with me and my missus in terms of that level of, we're not gonna be intimate yet. And that I like you and I want you, but we're gonna do that. Us staying in the same bed together, naked, not doing anything. And I'll, it was very frustrating to me because I wasn't used to that. Yeah. I was not used to that. I was like, yo, if, if a girl's coming over and you're my bed half naked, like nine times out of 10 stuff is going down. Yeah. But it's interesting how her, how a woman putting, I don't want to say a break, but her pacing the physical side can shift how a man begins to, I don't want to say shift how he sees her, but how he, maybe even treats her when it comes to intimacy and understanding that it's not obviously, yeah, there'd be times where, you know, with you and your girlfriend, whoever, it, you just want to rip each other's clothes off. Right. That's part of the fun. But before getting to that point, it's about building the intimacy, not having sex. Then we build intimacy. Does yeah. that make sense? And so kind of on that, I wanted to ask you because we talk about, you know, when to have sex and there seems to be this debate on, having sex on the first date. What, what's your, what's your take on that? You can. <laughs> <laughs> you can and at your own risk or that's, you know. It, it depends what, what you want to get out of it really. Yeah. It, it depends on the individuals that have it on the first date. Um, not everyone that has sex on the first date is going to have longevity. True. It, it can be risky. Yes. But like you do that and for many men, for instance, it was like, wow, that was fun. Mm. You take care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's um, because normally if he has to work for it, then at least he can get to know you a bit. But if he's already had sex straight away, it's um, it's like, mm, 
I don't know what I'm working towards now because I've already had sex. Like, what? Mm. Yeah, I think I feel like I know you well enough now. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and for a woman, it could be uh, frustrating. She might feel used. Sometimes yeah. she doesn't. She's like, "Well, that's all I wanted anyway." Very true. So it depends on the individuals. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, I think if you look for something casual, do you? Yeah. But if you look for something serious, I think it's the worst way to handle it mm. um, for the woman. Because a guy's going to have sex with you on the first date, regardless. Like guys are going to say yes. Because I think sometimes women can be like, well, if me having sex really quickly with him is going to affect how, whether he takes this seriously or not, if that's going to influence it, why would he do it? I'm like, because men still want to have sex. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think the only way, there's two ways how I see, there's only two ways I see that it's a benefit. The first way, which I think most women find icky is that if a guy is one of those guys who maybe doesn't have a lot of options and he does struggle with women, the first one who gives it to him, he's gonna like, I'm gonna make this work because I don't really get this a lot. So I, I, there's a lot of incentive for him to make it work. And that's not saying that he doesn't genuinely like her, but if we know that men want to have physical intimacy, it becomes more of a necessity for him to establish that relationship at least very early on, regardless of when they've had it, because otherwise where else is he going to get it from? The only other way that, because I've talked to guys and especially guys, my generation, some guys say it doesn't matter. Mo most guys I've talked to say it does, but a significant portion say it doesn't. And I think because we live in this sexually liberalized times, it's kind of like, if you have sex on the first day, it was a minor. But then it's funny because when I see the girls that they get into relationship with, that girl definitely did not have sex with them on the first day. <laughs> did not. Um, or the ones that did, and this is the other way, is that if a woman does have sex very quickly and early with a guy, I believe she, that means she has to start bringing value to his life quicker for him to continue to be like, oh, actually there's still something else here that I, that I want to add. Do you know what I mean? Because in mm. the beginning, like you said, men are just, the initial investment is to get to the point that he can be physical with her. Yeah. But then if they have sex very quickly, but then she starts adding value to his life, like, you know, maybe uh, these are just very arbitrary things, but maybe she does help him clear up around the home. Maybe he needs to get a new toothbrush and she gets it for him or those things. She starts to be an asset to his life quicker. Then that can actually work in her favor mm -hmm. because if he is dating multiple women and they're not doing that. And I'm just being honest, it's my anecdotal <laughs> experience as well as guys who tell me, but I think a lot of women date to see what they can gain from the guy, not to see what they can give the guy that they want. Um, right. Not all women, but I think that's a lot of men's experience. So if a woman can be that woman, who's gonna be like, I wanna show how I'm an asset to your life. I think having sex on the first date is no big deal but you have to start doing that from the jump, I'll be honest. Yeah. You have to start give, adding that value from the jump. Otherwise, if you're not ready to do that, if you're not ready to be, to say, okay, you know, I, I, I wanna do these things for him, you know, outside of the bedroom. I'm not saying you have to do that from the first date, but if you have sex, I think that's the only way he's, it's not gonna affect how he takes you seriously. Mm -hmm. Cause for most men, it will affect. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear that. That makes sense. I think it's, yeah, there's definitely a lot of value to that. I feel sometimes if you, um, if you have sex on the first date, um, I don't know how to put it. Put it straight, man. Direct. <laughs> some, some people, it, do, it doesn't, it doesn't, matter mm. some people don't treat sex as it's like oh we have sex we have sex we don't we don't mm. yeah that's true um, that is yeah true. they're very blase about it yeah. so it's like let's see how it goes mm. that's how some people are yeah uh, and they don't see sex as some sort of big I don't know trophy thing <laughs> yeah yeah very true so yeah yeah I had sex the other week with someone else they're, they're so casual about it yeah yeah um yeah. 
I but think- I feel as though if if a woman is is waiting a bit, it it allows me to get to know her a bit more. I don't know. It, I'd I'd, pref- I'd I'd prefer to get to know her a bit more, and also I would question if it's the sort of woman that would easily have sex with other if she's going to have sex with me i wouldn't feel as if i'm super special if it was like the first day i yes. wouldn't feel like oh super special i was the only one yes I'd yes be like oh there's probably many other guys and she probably treats it very casual mm. and that's not a problem mm. but i'll i'll treat it casual as well yes you know what i mean yeah. it's, it's it's cool it's like all right we had it on the first day cool it's, yes it's great yes it's casual yes you know we fist bump or shake hands <laughs> cool same time next week baby see you then yeah <laughs> yeah interesting yeah it's almost like it it almost says what her relationship to sex is and then like you said, it's like, oh, well, if it seems that her relationship to sex is very casual, then that's how I'm going to treat the sex with her casual. Um, Because I think sometimes a girl can be like, but we've been having sex for three months now. Why doesn't he want me? It's like, you've been treating sex casual with him and he's been treating it casual with you. So the emotional side hasn't built yet. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Because you you haven't invested in that, right? Um, And I agree with you in terms of holding off from doing that early to create the space for the emotional intimacy to form. Then you do that and you go, rah, this girl is amazing. Yeah. You know? Get to know this other human being. Yes. Who are they? Yeah. If you want to build a life with this person. Yes. Get to know them. Know everything about them. What are their likes, dislikes? What are, the, what are their views on life? What's their ambitions? Um, do they want to have kids? Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below, and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.